hello welcome and today we're going to make these really cute ballet slippers you can see it's got such a great pattern along the side for your foot the top part of the slipper is going to be the same for all different widths the toe is completely adjustable you can add or shorten the length here and also on the back or the heel portion you can always add uh, more rows on here for more length as well so I'm going to show you three different widths on how to make this slipper. This is the approximate measurement I have after making six rows of each width size. Remember the width will be carried down through the foot and around the heel as well. It'll be wider throughout the whole slipper, as you can see here. For my wide version, I actually added an extra row to make it fit. So this is my pretend little foot here. So when it goes in the slipper, you just want to make sure that it is wide enough this way. But also for the length, just try to make sure the big toe is covered. Now you'll have to decide which width you need. Bye bye foot. For this project, I used a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. You will also need a measuring tape a pair of scissors, and a darning needle. I used only about half of this ball of yarn. It's a number four weight and it's 100% acrylic. You can use any type of yarn you would like. So let's get started. So let's start with a magic circle. You can make a magic circle however you would like. This is how I make mine. So once you have your circle, we're going to chain two. This chain two does not count as a stitch. For this video tutorial, I'm going to show you the medium width. So on the medium width, I'm going to have it highlighted in a red color for your stitch count. The other two counts will be for your narrow or for your wide. So to start, I will be doing 11 double crochet in the circle. If you would like, you could always print off the pattern that's in the description to follow along that way as well. So this here is number 10, and then one more for number 11. Once you have your correct number, you can just pull your circle snug. We will then slip stitch to join in the top of that first double crochet. So for our medium width, Round one will equal 11 stitches. We will then start with the chain two and going into that very first stitch, we're gonna put two double crochet into each stitch. Throughout the video, I will fast forward at times. If you need to, just pause to catch up. Once you've reached back around to the beginning, we will slip stitch to join in the top of that first double crochet. And round two for a medium width is going to be 22 stitches. Again, we're gonna start with the chain two, and now we will put one double crochet into the first stitch, and then we're gonna put two double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're gonna repeat this pattern all the way around. 
2 in the next one. So to repeat that, we're going to put one double crochet and then two double crochet. And we'll see you back around at the beginning. We can then slip stitch to join, and round three will equal 33 stitches. Again, let's start with a chain two. We're now going to put one double crochet into each stitch. So just one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. We'll see you back at the beginning. Again, we're going to slip stitch to join. So our round four is going to be 33 stitches, and we're going to repeat this for rounds five and six. So two more rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. You should now have six rows. We can weave in our beginning end. At this point is where you can adjust the toe size. If you either have to subtract a row or add a row, now is the time to do it. So from this point, your slipper, this pattern here, will be the same for all width sizes. The bottom portion is where you will have it wider, depending on your slipper, or narrower. So the first thing we're going to do is chain two. And for my width, I'm going to do 16 double crochet. So starting in that very first stitch, 16 double crochet all the way across. Once you have your correct amount of double crochet, we're going to do a chain one. We will then slip stitch into the next stitch. From here we will make our loop. So we're going to chain three, we're going to skip one stitch, and then we're going to slip stitch into the next. That has created a loop. We're now going to do this eight times. So that's the first one. So we're going to chain three, skip a stitch, and slip stitch. That's number two. This is our third loop. And our fourth loop. This is number five. Again, chain three, skip, and slip stitch. That is six. This will be loop seven. And then we're going to have loop eight. And then if you slip stitch, it'll be in the very last stitch of our row. So you should now have eight loops. We will then chain one, and we're going to slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet to join and finish our round. So you should now have the eight loops. So again, we're going to start this round with a chain two 
and I will do my 16 double crochet. Once you've come to the end of the double crochet, we're now going to do our next chain. So we're going to chain two this time, and we're going to slip stitch into the first loop that we made from the round below. So right in there. So let's do our slip stitch. So what we've done is created this side part. So on the first row we did a chain one, and then we did a chain two. You can see how it looks here on the slipper. So we will be doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, all the way up to the top for nine. So right now we are on the chain two section of it. We can then do seven loops. So we'll chain three and slip stitch into the next loop. So that is our first loop. So chain three, and this is our second. Chain three, this is three. And four. This is five. Here we have six. And one more. So chain three and slip stitch. So that's seven loops. So to repeat what we have on the other side, we're going to chain two and then slip stitch to join in the top of that first double crochet. We can now begin our next round. So again, start with a chain two and do your set amount of double crochet. Once you have reached your last one, we will now do chain three. So chain three for the side, and then slip stitch into that first loop. So there's the side, and now we're gonna do our loops. So chain three, and slip stitch into the next loop. And this time it'll be six times, so that's one. Two, and three, and this is number four, five, and one more, six, and finishing off the round chain three, and slip stitch to join. For our next round, chain two, and do your set amount of double crochet. For the side this time, it's going to be a chain four. And then going into the first loop with our slip stitch. And this time we were going to do five loops. So chain three into the next one. There's our first loop. And here's our second. This is our third. This is four, and one more, five, and then we will chain four. So you can see our rows are one, two, three, so now we're on four, one, two, three, four, and slip stitch to join. We can now chain two and do our next round. So 16 double crochet or whatever number you have.
This time we will chain five. And then slip stitch into the first loop. Just do our slip stitch there. You can see our five chains for the side. And now we're going to chain three to do our loops. Slip stitch, so that's the first loop. Chain three. And loop two. And this is three. And one more for four. We can then chain five and slip stitch to join. Starting the next round again with the chain two and your set amount of double crochet. We will then chain six. Slip stitch to join in the first loop, chain three, and we're going to do three loops this time. So slip stitch into the next one, that's one loop, chain three, here we have two loops, chain three, and one more loop. So this is how your three loops should look. Chain six. And slip stitch to join on the top of that first double crochet. And this is how your slipper should look so far. So for the next round, do your set amount of double crochet. From here now, we will chain seven. I'm gonna slip stitch into that first loop, chain three, slip stitch. So there's our first loop, chain three, and our second loop. So we're down to two loops now. And then chain seven, and slip stitch to join. For our next round now, we're going to start doing an increase on the bottom section. So you can see right here on the sides, this is the row that we're on. So instead of doing just the one, we're going to put two double crochet in that first stitch. And then we're going to end off with that as well. And this is going to give an increase so we get it high enough to go around our heel. So for this round, we're going to do our chain two, and then we're going to put two double crochet in that first stitch. So there's one and two in the first stitch. Then you're going to put your set amount of double crochet to go all the way across. So mine was 14, and in that last stitch, I'm going to put two more double crochet. So for this round, my total stitch count will be 18. Yours will be different if you're doing narrow or wide. So from here now, we're going to chain eight. Then we will slip stitch into the loop, and then chain three, 
slip stitch into the next one. So now we just have one loop. So there's just one loop now at the top. We can then do our eight chain and then slip stitch to join. We're going to do another increase. So again, starting with the chain two, and then we're going to put two double crochet in the first stitch. Then do your set amount of double crochet. In the last stitch, we're going to put two double crochet. So for this row, I will have 20 stitches. We will now chain nine. We will slip stitch into the one and only loop that's at the top and then chain nine again and slip stitch to join. We're now going to start our rows. So this one again, though we will start with the chain two, we're going to put two double crochet in that first stitch. So that's our increase for the side. And then I will do, be doing my 18 double crochet across. I'm going to put then two double crochet in the last stitch. So my stitch count for this row is going to be 22 stitches. This time we're going to chain two and turn. So working in a row now, we're going to start again with two double crochet in that first stitch. And then I will be doing my 20 double crochet across. Again, we're going to put two double crochet in that last stitch. So my total count for the row will be 24. I will again chain two and turn. And I'm going to do another increase. So starting with two double crochet in that first stitch, I will then do my 22 stitches across and put two double crochet in the last stitch. So I will have 26 stitches. So this was my last increase. So this row was 26 stitches. So we're going to chain two and turn. And for rows 19, 20, and 21, we're just going to put one double crochet into each stitch. So for the narrow, you should have 23. For the medium, 26. And for the wide, you should have 29 stitches. So do this for the next three rows.
So this was my end of row 19. I'm doing a chain two turn. And this will be my row 20, doing one in each stitch all the way across. And this will be my row 21. At this point here, we're going to stop. We're going to do one more short row at the back by the heel and then go all the way around the top once and then close the heel uh, at the back together. That'll be our last step. So here's where you want to see if you have enough room uh, or if you need to repeat some more rows to make it longer. This is where you would do it. Try to make your slipper about one inch or two and a half centimeters shorter than your foot. If you have to add rows, add two more rows so that you're finishing on the same side. So here you can see on my finished slipper how I did the trim all the way around. It's just single crochet all the way around. So you want to make sure that your foot can get into this portion here. So this is where you might want to extend the heel uh, for more rows if you would like to. You can either do two rows of single crochet or two rows of double crochet. This is how the back of the finished heel will look. So this is going to be row 22 or however many rows that you have done. So we're going to do a chain one and turn and then we're going to decrease to form the heel part. So for the medium width I'm going to start with nine single crochet. I am then going to do a half double crochet two together. So we'll yarn over, insert the hook into the first, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop. You should now have five on your hook and yarn over and pull through all five. That is doing a half double crochet two together. Now we're going to put four together for the medium width. So yarn over into the first, pull up a loop. Yarn over into the second, pull up a loop. Yarn over and go into the third, pull up a loop. Now yarn over and go into the fourth, pull up a loop. Yarn over and we're going to pull through all the stitches. So that's going to be a half double crochet four together. We're now going to do a half double crochet two together. So into the first and into the second and yarn over and together. And now I'm going to finish this row with nine single crochet. You can see how nice the heel is shaping up now. So this one here is number eight and one in the corner there is number nine. This is how it should look and at the very end we will hand stitch it together. So we're now going to work along the top part of the slipper. So in the corner, we're going to put one single crochet. So that's going to be in that same stitch as the last one. Then we're going to put two single crochet on the end of each row. So just find where the rows are. So right in there, that'll be two. If you have single crochet rows at the end, just put one at the end of that. But on the double crochet rows, we're going to put two. 
So just continue down until we reach the top part of the slipper. Just stop when you have reached where the chain is. I am now going to do 10 single crochet around the chain. So this is a chain of 9 here, and I'm going to do 10 single crochet around it. If you would like, you could do 9 single crochets into the chain. You could do slip stitches into the chain as well. But for my slipper here, I'm going to do the 10 single crochet around the chain. And that was 10. So like I say, you can do any type of stitch along the top that you would like. So now around this slip stitch here, we're going to do one half double crochet. So yarn over, put your hook around the slip stitch, pull up your loop, and then yarn over and pull through three. This is actually called a front post half double crochet. And then we'll continue and do 10 single crochet around the chain. And this is how the slipper should look. So we can now finish the other side by putting the two single crochets at the end of each row. Once you have reached the end, we will put one single crochet in the end space. We can then cut our yarn, leaving a tail, and pull through. Using your darning needle, we will now close the end. So we're going to do an invisible stitch at the top portion of our slipper. So insert your hook from the front to the back going through both loops, and then we're going to go down into that other stitch right there, down into that stitch and to the back. So we're just going to grab a little bit of the stitch in the back, and just pull that snug, and you'll see how it makes kind of like an invisible close there. We can then bring our needle to the front and then we will stitch together the seam. So we're going to just start from the inside going through the two loops to the outside just like that and then going on to the other side. So starting from the inside going through the two and pulling snug. And just continue this down to the bottom.
Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you watch to the very end to see how this slipper is finished. Bye!